And if you don't believe me, if you think I'm going to cool down and change my mind, you should believe me. No one in the world holds a grudge like me. And no one in the world cares less about being petty than me. I don't care. I don't like you. You want welcome in my space? You aren't a safe person for my child to be around, or any child, frankly. Don't believe me? You should. Senator Hughes yesterday was asking all kinds of questions on the microphone, seemingly coming from a place of complete sincerity about how does this care work? Um, do parents have to consent every time for kids to get gender-affirming care? Questions that had already been answered. And this morning, Senator Fredrickson was answering those questions again, and she's sitting under the balcony not listening. So I go over there and I say, he's speaking to you. He's answering the questions that you specifically had that ostensibly were you know, preventing you from supporting this bill or not. Now she's sitting with Kathleen Kalth, who's probably saying, don't worry, girl, hold strong. We're going we're gonna to get those trans kids. Don't worry. Don't listen to Megan. Screw that. Senator Hughes said, well, some people sent me some emails. So I guess some people sent her some emails, and she probably definitely read them and took them to heart. So now she knows all the facts about what trans kids go through. One of the most hateful, bigoted, and wrong things that Senator Kathleen Kouth has said during this debate is that trans kids are hurting and sad. She might be right about that, but she's not right about why. The actions of bullies like Senator Kouth is what caused trans kids pain, not the fact that they're trans. Trans kids are normal, but for adults like Kathleen Kalth who harass them, who introduce bills to make their life harder, to make them feel like outsiders when they are not. There's nothing wrong with them. They get good grades, they go to school, they do activities and clubs, they have friends, they date, they have dreams and goals, they get married, they have kids, just like everybody else. Hopefully someday they run for the legislature and they can straighten some people out. 